Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, it's apps for college students. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin, and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today I'm talking to college students who are coming, maybe the first time, maybe not, to college with their iPads and want to find some ways to use it well in college. So I've got a few apps for you. These are not all the apps, but these are great apps to start with. And uh, most colleges right now have their own app. It's usually an iPhone app and not just an iPad app, but those are great. And I'll show you the ones that UNL uh, uses, and we've got a few of those. This is one of our campus apps. This is the admissions app. And this allows you to have a lot of information. So if you're just coming on campus and you're interested in what's going on, you can do this on your iPhone. Or if you have an iPad, you can do it on your iPad. And you can get, at the tips of your finger, everything that you need to know about campus. And what I love about this app is that it's actually easier to get a lot of the information about what's going on from the app than from the website where you're not sure where things are. So for example, you want to look at campus news, you get the top news stories from the last few days. You can see this is updated. This is the date that we are right now. What I love about this is you get a campus map that knows how to uh, locate you and tell you where you are and where other things are so you can actually know where you need to get to, where the main streets are and all of that. That's always uh, good and you can use the search function to find out where different places on campus are. So I know I'm here and now I'm finding a specific location and I can find out how to get there. You can also get the Twitter feed for the university so you can see things that are happening right now and what people are uh, tweeting out. This is mainly the feed for UNL News. And it'll help locate it. And you can also look at the events on the main calendar for campus. So you can see what performances, shows, and other things are interesting, lectures that are happening at the campus level that are interesting, including professional development and other things, even for uh, faculty. And of course, the ability to get uh, weather and other things that are connected to where we are right now. So this is one of the UNL app. A second app that we have, and this is an app that a lot of campuses have as well, is the iHasker uh, app. There are other colleges, and it'll obviously uh, be one of those uh, things that will change name based on where you are. And here, again, you can get maps. You can get the UNL Today, which is a daily communication about the main things that are happening on campus, interesting and important things. You can also see what's at the libraries. You can get uh, to the marketplace and uh, search for people. So if you're looking, for example, for a faculty member, let's say for me, if you search for my name, you will get uh, faculty and then you would get my contact information and that allows you to immediately find where I am and uh, if you want to send me something, if you want to call me or email me, you can immediately right there. You can go to the marketplace and you can see that you can go to the dairy store, very important, computer shop and what they have, phone shop, lead center, etc. So there are lots of opportunities to do purchases um, online and you can also see uh, the, the athletics uh, calendar and everything that's connected to it. So it's a great app, again, iPhone or iPad, great way to find your way around campus, find out what's going on. Both apps work well. They do somewhat different things, but they communicate a lot of the information that at least as a new student or as somebody who wants to get more involved, that's a great way to do that. The next one that I want to talk about is Blackboard. It's called, uh, their app is called Mobile. And the Blackboard app is our learning management uh, system. It connects to our learning management system. You can do this both on a computer or an iPad. I find the iPad very, very useful for certain applications. Um, one of them is discussion board. So this is a class I'm teaching right now. And what you can do, you can see that immediately it brings up everything that you can look at. And if you click on the discussion board, you can 
very quickly get access to all the discussions that are happening, participate live from your device. You don't have to go on your computer or read the documents or watch the videos, audio, whatever your instructor has incorporated into the learning management system. This is especially important, of course, if you're taking a on an online class or a hybrid class where some of the material is online and some of it is offline. Uh, I tend to teach that way. Not everybody does. But this is a great app. This is a free app, so you can use it. Uh, you just have to log in with your password and uh, login that the university provides. A, a great way to get some uh, courses, not necessarily paid. Some instructors use iTunes U to actually deliver college classes. If not, if you want to learn something without actually having to register and pay for it, you can do this through um, iTunes U. And, I, and you can see that in this case I have materials for a class I'm interested in. This is a class on, a, if you look at my courses, I have multiple courses. And this is a course on visualizing data from a, TED. And you can see this is the list of my materials. And I can watch them on the device. I can comment them on the device. I can post information. I can respond to an instructor if I'm registered to the class. Or I can read what others have said. So you can see that this is the post by the person who uh, made this uh, class. And it's a way to enrich your experience, or in some cases, this is how instruction is delivered, both at the secondary and the post-secondary level. So this is called iTunes U. Again, free, great resource, a fantastic multimodal uh, learning that is happening. A way to get books if you need to buy books for your classes. iBooks is one way. This is the Apple uh, repository of books, and some of those are available through that. Kindle is the equivalent, but from Amazon. Uh, CourseSmart is an app that was created especially for getting textbooks from the publishers on your device. And uh, you have to sign in. So I can sign in here. And you can see then that on this page, I've got a number of books. This, this is fantastic because it works just like anything else that sits on the cloud. I have books that I've purchased before and I've gotten before. And they wait for me on my shelf. And if this is a new device that I haven't downloaded these or decided that they take too much space, what it does is it saves them there and you can just download them back to your device um, very, very quickly. So here I'm just quickly downloading. And you see that the download doesn't take very long. And now you can see that this is exactly the way the page looks on the print version. But it does have some advantages. One of the advantages is very quick way to jump to the section you're interested in. And you can see that here. The ability to go to a specific page, to do a search for a specific word, which is fantastic. One of the things we can't do with a paper book. And the ability to highlight a piece of text and then create notes that are attached to it. So you can make notes. A lot of people complain, when I'm reading on my computer, I can't make notes. You can make notes on these. And they will stay. You can export them. You can even email them to others or to yourself or even to your instructor. So there are lots of ways to do that. You can actually even mark straight on the text, create boxes, highlight, things like that. You see that once I created this box, I have options to highlight, annotate, or share whatever is in that note, whatever it's covering. So there are lots of ways to manipulate the text and create the same thing in note taking as you do when you write on a book. Uh, the advantage is e-textbooks tend to be somewhat cheaper, not incredibly cheaper, but somewhat cheaper. And they, there's a there's a promise out there that they will get cheaper with time and that uh, making notes, highlighting, um, and all of that would stay on the electronic book but doesn't hurt uh, you, if you, uh, if you don't want to keep the book and the book disappears. Most of these books are rented for a period of six months. So you do get to retain all the notes you made. Uh, and that's another way to accommodate what you can do in the college classroom. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about 
as you uh, go through is the idea of getting a lot of the information, a lot of your social networks into an organized space. And for that, if you haven't used it so far, I would argue you want to use Flipboard because Flipboard helps organize all your streams, including learning streams, so you can get um, whatever messages your instructors are sending, for example, using Twitter or anything else through Flipboard and then it creates magazine type pages that help you, come on, that help you organize that information and consume it in a more visual way, being able to explore deeper or to just take a look and say that's not something I'm interested in. So today we talked about some basic app for the college students and I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.